So today I just want to talk to you about partially filling orders. CoreStore is not your typical point of sale system because it handles a lot of different transactions. And one of them is the ability to enter a special order, which is a feature that many retail stores have because you don't always have the inventory in stock for the item that your customer wants, or maybe they're calling you on the phone and asking you to place a special order for them. You can do that in Core Store, and you can actually also partially ship orders. So in a situation where you, maybe you have part of the order or some of the quantity of the item, you can actually still process that part of the order without entering a whole separate transaction. The first step to making sure you can partially fill orders is actually to go into your company settings. And I like using a little cheat. I'm going to search for the word fulfill. I know that in the sales section, I've got a couple of options related to partially shipping an order or partially delivering an order or partially uh, hand handling an order and fulfilling it. So the two options are show fulfilled column. This is really important. You want to make sure that you know this is checked so you can actually specify here's the quantity that I am uh, fulfilling right now. And also making sure that um, you can actually partially ship that order. So again, under fulfillment, show fulfilled column, and then prevent sale completion with unfulfilled items. This is optional, but it definitely helps prevent mistakes. Um, this will prevent the user from completing a sale which hasn't been fulfilled, meaning you have to suspend the transaction. So if for some reason, one of the items uh, you need to cancel, or maybe the quantity, uh, you don't feel like you'll be able to get that quantity in stock. You can also change the quantity or just delete the item from the order, and that will allow you to complete that sale. And even though, as long as your actual quantity matches what you fulfilled. So let's go ahead and now that we know these options are checked, we can go into a new sale and I can select an item. I'll go ahead and order, let's just say I'm ordering 40 of these. And, um, well, let's make it less just so I don't deplete all of them. Well, let's order 10. <laughs> and let's go ahead and select the customer. So again, typically you're entering a special order because you don't have these in stock, but uh, we'll just go ahead and say no to using our points. And, at this point, I can just not take payment. You know, that's up to your store policies. You can take a full payment, right? So if you hit continue, and even if they're giving you cash, if you just choose cash, add payment, suspend, that lets you uh, basically enter that special order and receive money, whether it's credit card, cash, or whatever other means of payment. But you can also, if you want, uh, just suspend it without payment. So I can go ahead and do that. So I'll just go ahead and enter a special order. So now I've got this order 8280 and it's for 10 of these and zero, if you notice, have been fulfilled. So now if I go back to my sales screen and click on suspended sales, I can go ahead and unsuspend this transaction. And at this point, I can specify what the quantity to fulfill. So if I receive two of these and I just want to fulfill two of them to the customer, I can just enter two. And once again, I can do one of two things. I can take payment. Uh, I can just go ahead and suspend the transaction again, um, or I can even invoice just for those two. So let's let's go ahead and do that because uh, this particular customer does have credit with us. So I can just hit continue, choose store account. You'll notice that we show you what the amount due today because we only ship two, and it defaults to that amount. So I can just add the payment. Uh, the create invoice is checked by default, so I can go ahead and resuspend this transaction. All right, so at this point, we show that two out of the 10 were 
fulfilled. Uh, we also have an invoice that was created. If I go into customer invoices, you'll see the invoice for $44 that was created for that customer because we've now fulfilled to whether it was shipped or delivered or picked up by the customer. All of that falls under the fulfilled. So if I go back to our new sales and I go back to our suspended transactions, I can go ahead and expand this transaction and it again shows me the quantity that was originally ordered. Uh, again, I'll unsuspend it and you'll notice that I now have filled two of the 10. So I can just keep doing this. And if I want to fulfill the rest, I can also fill out the rest. And at this point, it will let me actually continue and complete the transaction. And you'll see that the amount due is based on what the quantity that you're, you're fulfilling. So you can actually partially fulfill an order. Again, if you have multiple items on the order, you can just fulfill one of them. You can fulfill multiple of them. The key is simply to suspend that transaction. And again, if you're only fulfilling part of it, uh, if I do go and hit continue, and let's say they're paying me cash and I add that payment, um, if I try to then go and complete, you'll notice that I can't complete. Uh, even if I uh, remove that payment and put in the full payment for $176, it won't let me, let's go ahead and add this. So now in theory, I can complete the sale, but it won't let me do that because some of these items are still unfulfilled, right? Because I'm only filling four and there's actually eight remaining. So the system will prevent you from making that mistake. Again, if for some reason you will never get any more of these items, all you have to do is change this quantity to eight and fulfill the eight. And I can actually now go and, oops, my math is wrong, fulfill the six, I should have changed it. Um, but I can fulfill the six that are remaining because I had already filled two. And at this point I can continue. Uh, let me make sure I put in the right cash amount because it's 132 because I changed the quantity. So it's it defaults to 132, I can add payment. And at this point I can actually complete the sale. So in this case, I've got an invoice for the original two, but I took cash for the remaining six for a total quantity of eight. So that's how you partially fulfill orders. If you've got any further questions, hit us up on chat at help.coreware.com. Thank you for watching this video.